David Brog, CEO of uh, Maccabee Task Force. First of all, please, a few words about your organization. A Maccabee Task Force is trying to go to campuses in the U.S. facing serious challenges from anti-Israel organizations and organizing and enabling pro-Israel students to fight back better and harder. Is there a demand? Do people want this assistance? Do people want to be part of the struggle, the battle? Sometimes they say, you know what, let me finish my studies. It's a campus. That's all. Leave me alone. Right. Um, what you described defines a lot of students. They're not there to be pro-Israel activists. They're there to get an education, to go to grad school, to have girlfriends, to enjoy life. Unfortunately, as you know, many of the activists against Israel are full-time activists. They're not on campus to get a good education. They're not on campus to get good grades. They're paid to be there to fight against Israel. But the good news is there are pro-Israel students who want to push back. There are pro-Israel students who want to tell the truth. And when we go to campus and say, basically, we want you to think big. We want you to dream big. Anything you want to do this year to promote Israel, to fight BDS, tell us. We want to fund it and make it happen. They're very excited to meet us and to work with us. And when someone uh, comes to the campus and he is uh, maybe unaffiliated, uh, doesn't have any opinion, so the confrontation with the anti-Israel propaganda, the anti-Israel campaigns, does it, and of course with your assistance and all the organizations, does it make him or her more pro-Israel? Does it really help them to be part of the war uh, on the side of Israel? One of two things can happen. They can go to campus, discover how very controversial the issue of Israel is. And they can be frightened and discouraged by the vitriol, the hate against Israel, and just stay, you know, that's not fun. That's not a struggle I want to identify with. They can drop out. But if we can show them that they have support, that they have encouragement, and most importantly, that they're right, if we're, if we're not there to back them up, they might start to think they're wrong, that Israel's wrong. We show them support and encouragement and that they're right, they'll stay in the game, they'll stay in the fight, and we can encourage them to do bigger and better things. Now what really does it? Is it connecting people to their Jewish identity? Is it talking about the truth, the facts? Well, the Maccabee Task Force is, we're not a specifically Jewish organization. We work with all pro-Israel students. So we have groups like Hillel Chabad trying to connect students with their Jewish identity. That's typically where we find our best activists, but we also work with non-Jewish pro-Israel activists. And what we're there to say is, don't forget, our side is right. Our side is just. And don't feel overwhelmed or discouraged by the resources and the determination of the Israel haters. We're going to bring resources and determination to our side. You're not alone. We've got your back. Go forth and tell the truth. How long have you been doing this? One year. One year. So it's a good beginning. Are you? Does it sometimes feel like it's a lost cause? Uh, no. I, I was worried at first that we'd arrive on campus and the students would say, oh, another pro-Israel organization wanting to give us pamphlets and tell us what to do. And I was worried maybe we, there wouldn't be a need for us. What I found is the students are hungry. They want help. They want resources. They don't want to be told what to do. They want someone to help them do what they've decided is going to be most effective on their campus. And my experience has been most of the time they know their campus better than we do. David Brock, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, pleasure.